Hello everybody, happy Valentine's Day or welcome back to my YouTube channel with me Aldis. Is it Valentine's Day? I think so. I think this is a perfect moment to show you how I did my makeup on my own wedding day. It's been two years now since I married with British man. <laughs> If you guys don't know, I am originally from Indonesia, but I married with British man, so I need to do two weddings. <laughs> one of them in Indonesia, well, I mean the big one is in Indonesia, and for the civil marriage, we done it in UK, in England. So I called this as my English wedding makeup tutorial. <laughs> Okay, so what happened? I just got married! This type of makeup, it is really kind of my makeup. I still want to look like myself on my wedding day, so if I have a look on the picture later, maybe, I don't know, 10, 20, 50 years, I still look myself there. You know what I mean? Look at like, oh my god, look at my makeup. And if I do it by myself, I'm not gonna blame anyone. <laughs> so I'm still gonna stay classic, fresh, romantic. That's kind of vibe that I want to achieve on this makeup look. If you curious how I done this look, keep on watching. Let's start it. Alright, let's start with Prep the face. I'll be using this moisturizer from Ulida. This moisturizer is so thick, I often do that to massage my client. Now I do it for myself. I think for oily skin, they might not like that moisturizer. For me, it's great. So I just massage it onto my cheekbone that's the moisturizer next is the primer i use this from g1 jelly pack and just do it like that and just tap 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 onto my face because i want my makeup stay in place I already can see the glow within. Next will be foundation. I'll be using this one uh, from Charlotte Tilbury as my base foundation. Shake it well. Use it with this brush with stippling motion. The base is on. And while waiting this sink in, I just gonna put lip balm. All right, now move on to second layer of foundation. I was wearing a kind of like sleeveless dress that time, and I used to be like very very tan, so I need to synchronize my skin color. So I just trying to manage everything in harmony. I will mix this too. It's from Giorgio Armani. This is the Fluid Sheer and this is the Luminous Silk Foundation. The reason why I do this because with this light wonder, I don't really get that coverage but I got the hydration from that type of foundation like a yeah, like tint moisturizer. And it just looks so natural with that so I like to layering if I straight go with this I feel like 
I just packed a lot of foundation. That's what I felt with this. It's like kind of like I share it a little bit as well with the bronzer, and it just make everything works well together. And gradually, you can see like it's become one harmony with my skin, isn't it? But we're not done yet. And then to just even it out the strikes, just use this type of kind of brushes and then just buff it all in. Second layer done, I'm just gonna put my pore filler primer, just use it my finger and then push it on my lovely pore. I feel like with pore primer, it's also helped me for creasing, especially like under my eye, at the side of the nose, and will get rid of appearance of my big pores, a little hail pore filler primer. Pore filler done, I need to contour my face. I'm using this jabby stick from clinic and just put it around my forehead here. So my forehead new and tend to be darker than the other area on my face. Why not make my cheekbone even way more obvious? It's my wedding day, so and then I will do a nose contour to make my nose look smaller. In there, just to get like um same color under my neck, and we blend all in with this type of brush. And kind of like pushing it in. I also put it on my forehead because I can see there is a beautiful fine lines there. Make sure you blend all in. Get every angle of it like like that. It's all done, all well blend. I will do a concealer now, but with another foundation, which I really love this. Uh, it's from Cian Richards. Uh, this is a 4K long wear cream. This kind of like very, very multifunction um, product. I can use it as a concealer, a foundation, Pretty much, I can do everything with this, but I admit it, this is kind of hard to use it because you can't really have the same mixing all the time, you know what I mean? Like sometimes I put it like too much brown, sometimes I put it way lighter, so, so it's kind of very, very tricky product, but this is so great. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I just pop little bit moisturizer they got the mixer uh, which is I don't know I can't remember but I haven't got that on my hands yet so I just use my moisturizer you can use oil if you want to do like special effect you can use alcohol and sheer it up it's great it's great it's really good product so I just trying to hide my melasma there let's start mix this product okay now we're zoom we're a bit closer so i just have my moisturizer there just trying to mix it this color to hide this or also like the blemishes and i think i will have this one there with there like that you don't need much with this product you just need like this bit then mix them together with the 
moisturizer until I got the consistency that I want. to set this. It will dry by itself. It's good, isn't it? Now I move on to the eyes. As a base, I will use this uh, Eyes to Mesmerize Mary Antoinette, Antoinette from Charlotte Tilbury to all over my eyes. This trick will give such a glow to the eyes, like very natural and it's also like a base for the eyeshadow. It won't, I don't think you can see it, but in a real life, it will be so beautiful. Very, very thin layer of it. It's all about layering. Move on to the eyeshadow I will using from Urban Decay. This is the Naked 3. I want to feel like a romantic, sweet, that's kind of my vibe. I will use it, this one called Nooner, onto my socket line. So Nooner is on, now I want to use Burn Cut. It's a very pinky color on my lid pink is on I want to get a little bit more orangey I use this one this one here because it look orangey on my skin tone I don't know why but I like that effect, so it's just like up here. Mm, so cute! And I will be using Buzz on top of a uh, burn cut. Only at the center of my eyes, just to make it even more stand out. So I want to show the pink, and then using dark heart just for my shadow liner, just to give. A guide for me to put liner later. Now move on to the hardest part of this makeup tutorial, I think, is my lashes. So I have very tiny thin short lashes and I want to have a like a extension lashes effect but I don't want to get actual extension lashes because it's just gonna ruin my real lashes so I just made it up uh, what I'm gonna do I will curl my lashes first using this kind of like base um, mascara or primer mascara the one that kind of look white on your lashes I use it, this one it's from Maybelline and then coat them all to my lashes do I look crazy? 
it's fine and then I will use a waterproof mascara because it's wedding I know I will cry the mascara on I will put the lashes I just use the, this type of lashes you know like just for at the end of your lashes or you can just use any type of lashes and then you cut it out before I put it on I will paint the band with eyeliner color it all can you see yeah like that so I also need to tighten up my eyes I will using like a gel liner with very tiny brush and just wiggle 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 your lashes like that ah, I know but this is not the end still got the lashes okay here's the deal to make it look so natural and I want to get that the extension effect I will put my lashes underneath my real lashes so it's not gonna be on top of it that's why it's gonna be so hard and it's true it looks so natural on on the lashes I'm just gonna cut the band a little bit oh I tried and tested before the wedding day anyway so I know how it feels how I can manage to do that let's put the glue on it the tweezer stand by because I will do this underneath my real lashes so I put the glue on top of the fake lashes right let's do this and put it right there Yeah. See, doesn't look like I'm wearing any lashes. It's just like lots of mascara, and I like it. Does it comfortable? Surprisingly, yes. But it's same deal like you wearing um, fake lashes anyway. You you feel something on your eyes, but. I like the effect of it so this is how I do it and then now I just gonna draw a little bit like line at the end of it like that I think I make it like even longer in that day Mm. Okay, I think now the eyes are done. No, not really. Nah, not really. So now I'm just going to use a white liner for my waterline. Smudge it all in back to the shadow with dark side just at the edge. Okay, okay, okay. Brow, so easy for the brow. Just gonna use this brow setter. I use the brow setter first. Make it all up, all up. And using, as always, brow flip just to fill the gap. There. There. Just make a stroke. Alrighty. You know, I haven't said it 
everything with the powder so I'll go back to my foundation brush get the um, cream blushes from ELF I like to use this color over here on the highest of my cheekbone area it is higher than usual because I want to have the two color effect to smudge it all in I'm using this tone it's slightly peachy tone and so all around the apple of my cheek <laughs> love love that's done and now time to powder powder easy just as always using this one just you know as always strategically just put it there on my cheek there on the nose just a bit on the forehead another blush but now i will use a powder blush which i can't find it i found it i will using this matte powder blush from is it heza is it called heza from Topshop, just at the top of my cheek, just to give like even more stand out there, because it's also settling the cream product that I put it. See, that's the effect that I want to get, which is just like right there. Okay, not too overwhelming, it's just like I'm blushing. It's my wedding day. <laughs> Alrighty, I think I'm good. And not really type of to settle it with the spray, but for now, why not? I just find it this one, my setting spray from YSL. I normally use it the night night setter the Urban Decay one because that really works so I'm just gonna hide my eyes because I don't want the water will come along later which is my tears so just put it on my forehead my cheekbone there Ooh, one more there you go I think it's too much but it's okay is it gonna be fine? I think it's gonna be fine no, I'm afraid. I just tap it again with my foundation brush. I don't really use highlighter because I know it will come along the way anyway. So now move on to the lips. I know I will kiss my future husband, which is my husband now. <laughs> I want to find something that is not definitely transferable. And I found this, Maybelline Superstay. 24 color so it came with the you know liquid lips like that and got the balm on top of it i'll show you so just get rid of my balm a little bit make sure i don't have any kind of dry texture because with this it will show a lot so you need to exfoliate your lips first if you have like their very dry lips Okay, there we go. It's gonna be like that. Just put it normally. But make sure with this type of lip color, you need to do it like stretching your lip. Fill the gap on the lip. Because once it's dry, you can't really do anything. You need to be quick with this lip color. Then you just wait until you can feel it like a little bit tacky just maybe like 10 seconds and then put the lip balm on top of it makes look like you're wearing gloss because it does feel so dry there you have it you may kiss the bride
there you go. And for the hair, ah, now it's moving for the hair. I just do it very, very easy kind of hairstyle. I just bun like this. Well, I can do it because my hair is so long. So this is what I did. Just put it like that. And just like that. Put it like, you know, very low, low bun. Something like that. So pretty much just like this. And then I just put like something on top of it. But I got a bald spot there. <laughs> what I did that time, I just put this brow flick again and draw the line there because it will look so natural like that there you have it hi hi low ball situation there you go yeah see cool yes no 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 it's not like this, hang on. My hair, I put it like a little bit there. Because it's cold in London and I don't want to wear beanie, right? It's my wedding day, so I just cover my ear, my top of my ear a little bit. So this is my beanie. <laughs> and then tighten up there. Just make a little bun. But I do it more um, effort with this, but pretty much this is what I did for my wedding day makeup look. Think so. Alright, there you have it, my English wedding makeup tutorial. I hope you find it helpful. Let me know if you do this type of trick as well, tag me, shout me. <laughs> I would love to see that. And thank you for watching. I will see you on my next video. Bye! Hi, I am back. After two hours finished groceries, can you see all of my oily face around here? This is what I'm gonna do for a touch up. I will using Ray Morris. This is a invisible mattifier, invisible face powder, but it's not powder. This is like it is, I think this is pure silicone on it, if I'm not mistaken. This is such a gem as well for me for my makeup kit. I use this as well for my like TV shoot or movie, something like that, just to get rid of the uh, oil but not look powdery. As you can see, There we go. See? It looks, it still looks so, 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 so natural. This is the one that I already laid it down, the mattifying powder. This is the side that I haven't done anything yet. There we go. Now I'm off. Bye.